do you still sing the song that he's able to annoy? You sing no deliverance in sight. Why do you still give God praise when there's no reason to give up praise? Why do you still speak in tongues when your mouth has nothing good to say in the natural? Why? The Bible says it's unspeakable. Your job. Your situation cannot be measured with what you feel inside. It's unspeakable. Literally, it's a mystery. He said it's unspeakable. What? And it's full of glory. Now, watch this. And this, is, this is what I've been trying to help you understand all day. Watch what he said. He says, receiving the end of your faith. In other words, this is where your faith is taking you. This is where your faith is leading you. This is faith's ultimate destination. Faith's ultimate destination isn't a car. I know these rascals teaching it, but that ain't it. Faith's ultimate destination isn't even a husband, a wife, or children. A good job, a ministry. No. God, listen, the faith of God is too great for that. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. Yes, I'll tell you this. Thank you. It's going to take some faith to make it to heaven. Yes. Amen. 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 Y'all think God is going to take us out of here because we're here? No. Uh -huh. Everything you do, as I said earlier, you're going to do it by faith. That's right. Everything you get from God, you got to get it by faith. Yes. Yes. Even to go to heaven, you're going to go by faith. Here's what the writer is saying. All the junk you're going through is to finally give you enough faith to make it to heaven. That's why you can rejoice. Y'all missed that? That's why you can rejoice. Because you know that what you're dealing with is designed to take you to heaven. It's part of God's process. Trials are what God is using, is what God is using to perfect your faith so in the end you'll be ready to go to heaven. What that means is, you know what that means? Folks, don't go through nothing. Ain't got nothing coming. Folks, just don't go through nothing. We will have no faith perfected. Folks, we don't go through nothing. Can't go to glory. That's why you rejoice when you go through hell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your trials, listen, your trials are steps of the ladder of your faith. Your trials are steps of the ladder of your faith. Yes, yes, That's why the next time you think about the stuff you're dealing with, you start rejoicing. God, tell us. The next time you think about your trouble, start rejoicing because you will say in your mouth, the end of this is heaven! End up. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. Watch this. I will. It's Bible something. I marvel at it. I marvel at this book. That's why the Quran can't compare to the Bible. Come on, man. Book of Mormon compared to the Bible. What do the Buddhists read? What they read? Mm. Buddha got a book. I know he got one. <laughs> <laughs> can't nothing compare to the Bible. Now here he can't nothing. It's a poetic masterpiece. There's nothing like the book of the Psalms. Come on. There's nothing like Proverbs. There ain't ever been a book written like Revelations. Listen to what the word is. Come on. Watch this. That's what I love about the Bible. Of 
Lord's salvation, the prophets have inquired and searched diligently. In other words, they, 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 you know, prophets can see. They can see the future. I believe that from what we read, we know this is the case. John saw everything that's going to happen in our future before we even got here. So I believe that prophets could see this day because here's what the scripture says. Of which salvation the one you and I got, how many know they didn't have what we got? They didn't have the Holy Ghost like we got. Watch. The prophets have inquired and searched diligently. Inquired about this. Searched diligently. Who prophesied of the grace that should come unto who? You. They didn't know nothing about this. <laughs> this grace, this dispensation. Yes. You know, the prophets basically were under the law. But it was a bunch of thou shalt not. But they knew something was coming. Yeah. And they start searching and inquiring diligently into what you got. Y'all yeah. know something? You know we talk about being kept out of our God. You y'all got something that even the, the Bible says the angels designed to look into it. Yeah. That's why everybody, I say this again, everybody needs the Holy Ghost speaking right. in tongues. Yeah. Right. Listen to me. Listen to me. All y'all get it. It's free. Yeah. Don't cost you nothing. God's giving it out. He's giving it out. You're talking. Anybody that don't have it is because you don't want it. Get it? First of all, get it is good. 